Thank you everybody for coming out today. Uh, to start off, we're all going to stand for the national anthem, except for, for Bernie. So, Lou. Thanks again for coming out, and thank you to the Pothier family for inviting us to our home. Judy, thank you. Uh, every time I've come to visit Bernard, I just I'm in awe of this this landscaping and uh, the whole house. So, thank you for having us. And Bernard's whole family is here today. Again, Judy, daughters Marge, Bernadette, and Janet, and and son Brian. So, thank you all for coming. Thank you to our town manager Bob Lalasher and our assistant town manager, Gene Delios, Deputy Fire Chief, Paul Jackson, Deputy Police Chief, Dave Clark, another Army guy, thank you for coming out. And especially to Representative Bradley Jones. Um, we wouldn't be doing this today if it wasn't for Brad's office. And unfortunately, Michael Smith uh, from his office, who did an awful lot of legwork on this, couldn't make it today. Uh, but we started this process a year ago put high priority on it, uh, health issues, 99, everything else, and it still took a year. Uh, so you can imagine how long it would take without uh, the support of uh, Brad Jones' office. Uh, a little bit about Bernie. 76 years ago, Corporal Bernard Pothier was at Clark Field in the Philippines. Uh, December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Several hours later, they bombed Clark Field. They were outnumbered, and the, the Filipino and American soldiers, they were backed into the Bataan Peninsula. After a four-month battle, they were out of food, they were out of, am out of ammunition, they were ordered to surrender. 75,000 American and Filipino troops were marched 65 miles in the stifling heat, which is now known as the Bataan Death March. Thousands died along the way. Bernie survived that march, and he survived the following three and a half years as a POW in Japan, Japanese prison camps. He is, without a doubt, one of the most positive individuals I've ever met. Uh, first time I met him, he was smiling, and he's still smiling today. And I, I can only imagine it was, it was that positive glasses half full attitude that got him through the death march and those three and a half years in the POW camp. So you, you really are a true inspiration. Bernie left captivity or left the service after almost six years as a corporal. He had heard about some individuals being promoted to sergeant, but he, he never really pursued it. He came back, got on with his life raised a family, had a business. So we're basically here today, 71 years later, to take care of some unfinished business. So Department of the Army message, 21-22-59 Zulu, September 1945, states that recovered personnel must have been absent from military control under honorable conditions for 18 months or longer and have not yet received a one-grade promotion 
since return to military control to be eligible for a POW promotion. Corporal Pothier was a POW for 41 months under honorable conditions and has not yet been promoted. So your long wait's over. Sergeant Major DeVincent from the Army Nas Massachusetts Army National Guard will now do the honors. Attention to orders. The Secretary of the Army has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and professional excellence of Corporal Bernard Pothier. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated leadership, potential, and dedicated service to the U.S. Army, he is therefore promoted to sergeant, effective 3 May 1946, by order of the Secretary of the Army. Certificate of promotion. Sorry, this is your certificate of your promotion. Oh yeah. Yes. We'll <laughs> <laughs> take a picture. Commission Officer um, Award to Ooh. Sergeant um, Bernard Parthier. So this is signed by our State Command Sergeant Major and the Adjutant General of the United S of Massachusetts. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's your um, 1946. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So it's something we wanted you to have. It's your due. This is for you. Can do. Well, yeah, yeah. Sort of, yeah, very good, Vern. Thank there we you. Go. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. There we go. Great. Super. Thank you very much. Okay, and we have, um, yeah. I'm going to put this right here for you. And in reviewing <laughs> Corporal Pothier's uh, records, uh, we found out that he was never awarded the Prisoner of War Medal. Okay, attention to orders. United States of America, to all those that see these presents greeting the Prisoner of War Medal awarded to Sergeant Bernard M. Pothier, United States Army, honoring remarkable courage, service, and sacrifice. While in captivity, 7 May 1942 to 12 October 1945, Fukuoka Prison Camp No. 17, Island of Honshu, Japan, assigned to Headquarters Squadron of the 24th Pursuit Group in the Pacific Theater, during World War II. Sergeant Pothier's professionalism and heroic actions brought great credit upon himself in the United States of America. Right now, I'd like to welcome Catherine Thibodeau from Congressman Seth Moulton's office. Uh, Congressman Moulton's office was also instrumental in, in pushing this through the Board of Military Corrections. So she has a presentation for Bernard right now. Um, on behalf of the congressman, we wanted to just give you this small certificate to just 
um, in celebration of your long overdue promotion, and we're very excited to celebrate with you on this day. So, um, I just wanted to give back to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just like that. Yeah. All right, Bernie could just put it down just a little bit so he doesn't cover his face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, super. I won't get in the way anymore. <laughs> All right, Bill, do you want to present yours? It is really. No? Come on. Overwhelming. Present. Yes. Yes. There you go. One's left and two another. Okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> You're overwhelmed with all your stuff. Okay, now Representative Brad Jones, who again, I can't thank enough for all his support and his office support. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Kevin. I want to say thanks uh, to Kevin for reaching out to the office and uh, letting my office play uh, some small uh, role in, in making sure this was uh, was accomplished. And I just have a uh, citation from the House of Representatives to Bernard Pothy in recognition of your outstanding dedication and service to the United States of America. And I want to say a personal thank you for your service and sacrifice on behalf of our country and the service and sacrifice of all the men and women in uniform here today uh, that took the time out to be with you. Absolutely. We'll give it to you. You can read it. Oh, come on. You're going to need a bigger wall in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and I was impressed to see there's four generations that live here, which is pretty neat. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Tonight. Right. Right. Tonight. Tonight. Again, I want to thank everyone for coming out today to, the, to this happy event. Uh, I think it was worth waiting 71 years. Uh, thank you to Sergeant Major DeVincent for coming out. And thank you to all you folks for your service, your sacrifices. Uh, I've been there, so I know what you're going through. So thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Enjoy yourself. Meet our new sergeant, and uh, he might tell you a story or two. Yeah. <laughs>
Can see the lens, okay? All right, on the count of three, are we ready? One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Thank you. Hey! All right. That was wonderful. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It's all right. It's a health bowl, by the way. Do you know something I know? Well, yeah, I don't know how hard it is to get one of those. I could, I could barely get one for the NCO of the year last year. They didn't have a last day. Yeah. <laughs> 